Hello, and welcome to another video for Building Point Mid-America. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to use the visible laser to collect data inside of an existing space. It's important to know that the device I'm using happens to be a RTS-773 robotic total station. So that means it has the red visible laser as well as the Trimble Vision camera and board. I'm also using a tablet, which is a Trimble T10 tablet that has the advanced feature pack software loaded onto that device. So without any further ado, I'm going to jump right in and we'll start collecting data. So as you can see now, I've got the T10 open. I'm using again Trimble Field Link. I'm going to go up to jobs and manage and I'm going to create a new job. So I'm just going to call this the BPMA training room. Please ignore my typos, lack of a space there. And the way I name jobs, I typically like to put the date in there as well, especially when I'm doing a collection. So what you can see in the screen here is not only can you see uh, Trimble Field Link, but up in the upper left, you can also see a video which is uh, taken from the onboard camera on the back side of my T10 tablet. So I apologize if you get at all dizzy, that's not the intent. Um, however, you'll get to see me uh, moving the laser back and forth from time to time. So as you can see right now, I'm kind of standing right next to the tripod of the machine. And now what I'm doing is I've not set this up and done a setup, meaning I've not shot any coordinates to allow the RTS to resection and understand where it's at spatially. So I'm gonna use the RTS and use the tap controls and I'm going to move the laser around so panning tilting and all that I'm doing is I'm going to shoot a couple corners inside this existing room so again this is uh, our training room here in the St. Louis office and uh, I'm just locating the laser and moving it uh, back and forth with these servo axes and you can see down there at the base top of the base uh, the laser and all I'm doing now is the fine touch buttons off on the far right to get it exactly where I want I hit the starburst button up in the top to collect it so now now that, now that I've got it open all I have to do is tap one of the points and name it north and the second point that I tap is going to be base so it's good to have true plan north or compass north on there now I'm going to start collecting data so what I like to do is I like to start these with the num number 100 under the name and in the description I'm going to call it floor corners and then my layer is collect 61720 again that just happened to be the date that I was collecting um, and uh, you can use whatever layers you want so now I'm going to go through everything I'm going to add a note that this is top of base doesn't quite fit so you'll see I'll change it ultimately to TO base uh, only because what we're shooting here we've got uh, a base and on the floorboard that's about five-eighths of an inch thick so I didn't want to throw measurements off so now I'm going to go around the room and I'm going to collect the top of base at the floor and wall joint everywhere throughout this room so I do like to go ahead and create another one even though I shot base and north on top of these base points um, I like to do shoot another one as well, just that way I've got my collected point and not just my base and north points. So I'm going to go from, from space to space and continue working through these. And again, just keep in mind right now, I'm using these servos almost like I was controlling a radio controlled car. So the kid in me is coming out a little bit here. And again, the fine touch tap buttons on the far right allow me to do micro movements. Um, and then you'll also see from time to time, I'll use the fingertip mode, which is uh, uh, kind of putting my finger in the middle of the screen and, and moving it around that way in lieu of using the uh, uh, turn commands on the far side. And the way you can control the speed or pace on those is up in the upper right, you see the turtle button right now. If I tap that, it's going to turn into a rabbit and it kind of reminds you of uh, riding, you're riding lawnmower. So the turtle mode, obviously, uh, much quicker, faster movements. And the, or I'm sorry, the rabbit mode, much quicker, faster movements. The turtle mode, much uh, smoother, much slower, much uh, smaller area that it's going to change around to. So again, I think I'm about uh, two thirds of the way around this room collecting base points. And again, you could use this to collect anything that you want. Um, I'm just using this reference for top of base. And then after that, we're going to collect points at the ceiling as well. So that way I can kind of create a 3D spatial for what this room is. <clears throat> so now I'm on the inside corner of that base. 
Again, I apologize for if uh, anybody gets motion sickness from the uh, camera panning around that's uh, on the back of the tablet. So you are staring at the work I'm doing, not uh, necessarily me. So I've collected that bottom point, shooting it. It's telling me it's beyond uh, instrument setup for this point. Just because of the way I had this set up, it's probably about two to three inches past um, the way my instrument setup is. And anybody that knows us understand that uh, you try to shoot your maximum points so you're always working within that. Every now and then if you have to collect outside of that, it's not the end of the world. Know that you can do that and you can move on. Just your... Uh, margin of error is increased anytime you're outside of that bubble. So now I've created a, a new setup of points to collect points for the ceiling. And you'll see now or in a few minutes why I like to uh, change the numbering nomenclature for these. So now I'm up in the ceiling. I know you can't really see it in the camera, but I'm up on the ceiling collecting my first point. Now I'm moving over to my second point. And again, collecting all of these points up at the top along the ceiling. So as I continue collecting data, going from point to point, now I'm moving around to more of an inside corner just above the uh, uh, fire strobe there. And on this one, I turned camera on. So again, this one's got Trimble Vision. The reason I turned that on was I want you to be able to see that I can tap on the screen. So when you saw the laser mode, I actually tapped on the screen with my index finger and made the laser shoot up to that point. So I didn't have to manually do it. I was able to tap on the, uh, the camera, or at least the vision from the camera, and just understand that uh, the laser is gonna project up to wherever you tap on that screen. Now granted, I was using my finger, so it's not precise. That's where the stylus comes in really handy. Just another way to collect those points. That's a really handy one if you're far enough away and you can't quite get onto the point. Uh, you can zoom in to within reason and use just the camera to collect those points as well. So now I'm back around to that main, uh, Main corner I started with for the floor, and I've got about three points to collect there. I'll grab these really quickly. Again, it's, it's imperative to hit that starburst button up in the upper right. That's your actual measure button. So as much as I move it around, I haven't measured anything until I hit that button. Those of you uh, that do layout as well, you'll remember that that button is also the stake button. It's essentially shooting the laser out and that's the command for doing so. So now that I've created all these points, now I want to start using some line work to collect, connect those points. So if you look here, remember I numbered everything at the floor 100, everything at the ceiling 200. The reason I like to do that is as I'm connecting these points, um, just points in space, it gets confusing what plane I'm on. So what I always like to do is I like to uh, set them up to where the same plane is the same numbering name naming nomenclatures. Pardon me. Easy for me to say. Um, so that way I can just connect these a little bit faster, move through the progression. So now what you can see is <clears throat> I've now got a ceiling plate and a floor plate pretty well identified from this room. Now I'm going to start connecting and creating wall corners so I can connect everything down. And this is as simple as create line work. And all I'm doing is I'm drawing a straight line from uh, one point to one point, creating this throughout. And also notice, too, that if I've got two points over the top of each other, when I tap on one, it pulls up that separate menu to say, do you want base or point 0.106? Uh, so obviously I want point 0.106. Now I'm using it to layout. So I hit measure and layout. And so I've got the gun shooting the laser off to a new point. And then I'm going to turn the camera on so you can see this. And again, you got to let the camera catch up. So the camera is now caught up. We're up in that corner shooting point 204. But what you'll also see is the line work that I've created is now modeled over the top of what I can see on the vision. And the really cool thing is, and I'm going to do this again, off on the far right of that screen when the camera's up. So I got to let it aim and do its shot again. Once it shoots, I'm gonna go ahead and store that point and then I'm gonna turn the camera on again. 
When I turn the camera on, you'll notice off to the far right, there's a button with uh, three dots, a yellow, a blue, and a white. And as I cycle through those, it changes the color of both my point or my line work within the model or the view that I'm doing here. So pretty slick, pretty easy way to do that. Uh, just to collect data. And from this, I can export a drawing or DWG file to start using in model management. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today, and I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Have a nice day.